Hello, my name is Steve Wan, and I'm a research scientist at the CSIRO, Australia's publicly funded science organization. There I work uh, on natural language processing, and I'm very interested in natural language queries, the structured data, uh, which is why I found the camera art challenge uh, quite an interesting one, because it combines that interest along with my other interest, which is music. Our submission in 2017 focused on three areas of development. The first was in the way that we stored and represented data from the musical score. And this year we used a database for this, which also allowed us to store the results of musical analyses, such as musical themes. We also extended the query handling module, the grammar rules, uh, particularly, to handle three new types of queries, those involving harmonies across multiple parts where we extended the parsing module so that it accepted um, arbitrary part names uh, query, uh, queries about repetition of content, and queries about those musical themes. Finally, the last extension was a paraphrase-inspired transformation module, which gave us a paraphrase of the original query so that if we didn't find our structure for the original query, then we look for one for its paraphrase. So what do I mean by the uh, analysis of these musical themes? Well, first we find sequences of notes delimited by rests. And then for each sequence, um, we construct uh, three keys. The first key is using the absolute name. So for every note in that sequence, we take the note name, whether it's an E flat, it's a C, etc. Uh, we omit the octave, but we keep the duration and the offset in the bar. So that's the absolute uh, note names. We also have a version of uh, the key based on intervals. So for every consecutive pair of notes, we look at the interval either as a semitone or a diatonic uh, scale interval. Uh, this allows us then to look for multiple occurrences of these um, keys throughout the score on different parts or um, uh, at the beginning of a musical piece or at the end of a musical piece. Um, the intervals allow us to capture things like transposition um, and by omitting the octave we can look for the sequence of notes occurring in um, instruments with uh, different registers. Here, on the right-hand side, you can see a particular motif happening in the flute and the bassoon. The key here is using the absolute note names. So it starts on an E-flat and ends in a B-flat and is of length uh, of eight notes. Our system proceeds as follows. The query is sent to the parser, which has an updated set of our query rules. Uh, it's been updated to include uh, coverage of the 2016 label uh, data. And if these grammar rules cover the, the incoming query, then we'll obtain a parse structure. If not, we apply a series of query paraphrase rules, a prioritized set of uh, string transformations that maps the query to a canonical form, or at least one that uh, is closer to what we're expecting um, in terms of coverage with our grammar rules. So this is query version 2, and hopefully um, this will be covered by the grammar rule, by the grammar, uh, which then provides a parse structure. The parse structure um, has a, a feature structure representing what we're looking for in the query. Uh, this is very similar to a uh, Python dictionary and is very easy for us to then map to a JSON query for querying the database. In this case, that's MongoDB. Ahead of time, um, at indexing time, we've run the various analyses. The first is just to scan through the musical score and the second is define those musical themes that uh, I described in the previous slide. Uh, this is the results of these two uh, processes are then sent to the indexing module, which uh, stores all that data in the database. If, however, we encounter a query which uh, has a constraint where we're supposed to find the candidate answer from 
uh, two or more named parts, this means we have to do a dynamic analysis, which, uh, for example, we might be looking for a harmony between the flute and the bassoon part. We first have to uh, extract those two parts from the musical score and create a new part for that, a combined part, which is then sent for chord analysis using Music 21. The results of that are then sent for indexing and the uh, query process proceeds as before, but this time the, uh, the JSON query for MongoDB will look for the result in that newly indexed combined part. Finally, the results are um, then collated and um, prepared for evaluation. The results of our uh, system in the 2017 evaluation are listed there in the first row. The table shows the bar or measure recall and precision, uh, with also the results calculated for previous years. Uh, we didn't participate in the 2016 um, evaluation, but we have the uh, label data here that we were using as regression tests during our uh, development. We think the performance is affected by the way we're handling repetition. In this system, it's quite a simple approach. We simply look for a, uh, the sequence of notes repeated twice. So we're not able to handle uh, arbitrary uh, repetition length. Um, this means we're going to suggest too many candidate answers, uh, and that's going to affect our precision. Uh, the other performance issue that we think is at play here is our handling of the queries for those musical themes. We're not sure if these queries are hand being handled sufficiently well, even though we have this uh, musical theme analysis module ahead of time, because you saw those analyses in the database. For future work, uh, we'd like to look at methods for automatically constructing those paraphrase rules, currently they're handcrafted. And in subsequent systems, we think that more, more and more of our efforts might actually be uh, focused on the music analysis, not so much the query handling mechanism. So for example, repetition might be um, handled ahead of time to look for those uh, repeated note sequences and then the results of that analysis stored in the database ahead of time, much in the same way as we're handling those musical themes. Uh, this might be how we handle um, some, some of the more complex uh, music, musicology uh, queries in the future. Finally, I'd like to, before finishing, I'd like to thank the organizers of Camerata for doing such a great job this year, and thank you all for uh, your attention.